again once more. Hello, it is I, old school, old fool, back with you on a lazy Sunday afternoon of April. It's actually kind of nice outside here, but hey. Uh, Mania, I knew I was going to lose that rap battle because the guy saw me talk like a baby. Did. Darn it, they're moving too fast. Anyway, I'm distracted. I'm very distracted, so perhaps I should get back into the game here. All right, let's see what's up with the big dog. I, wait, wait, Lola? Hey, where'd, shit, Milo? How'd I lose you? Milo? Are, are you here? Lola, I'm, I'm, I'm over, I'm over, I don't know how to, shit, I, how to describe it. Can you, can you hear me? Lola? I, I can, I think I can hear you. Oh shit, how did, how do we get split up? Hey, Lola, aren't you, where's, aren't where's you always with that twin? friend of yours? Milo, what? what? Okay, Milo, we came, we saw, let's, let's get the fuck out of here before I get some disease. I hate these things. Come on, these people, they're just, just these sloppy hangers on that'll fuck into existence another generation Burmahorn, of overweened termites oh, craving crap. bullshit to ignore their grandmother dying in hospice. Well, there's no escaping that fate, assholes. No matter how many pop songs you can fucking quote. All right, just fuck off, Wormhorn. I thought we were done with this stuff. Fuck yeah, let's rock this bitch. Finally, I've been, I've been really waiting all year for this. I could spread my party wings and really, really assimilate into good old boy middle class mid cult die of heart disease avarice and stupidity. And don't take it to me that your friendship, Lola, was never enough for me. Understand that it was never even close to being enough. Yep, Milo doesn't sound like that asswipe. Okay, he's a giant nerd that's as much of a skeptic. I'm as... not a, a giant nerd. Okay, I'm. No, it's a compliment. Jesus. <sighs> hey, Lola, how's it? Uh, how's it? How's it going? Well, there are starving children in the world, and you're all taking Jello shots. Does that answer your question? Oh, Jesus Christ! Did you hear your uh, friend Milo got pranked by Kappa Theta? They somehow forwarded his calls to their directory. The only one who ever calls him is mom. Oh, uh, Milo. Uh, God, yeah, that guy's just such a fucking walnut. <laughs> a walnut? Why is it so funny? <laughs> a walnut, he <laughs> is! What, what does that even mean, a, a, a walnut? You know those guys filled my mailbox with walnuts for like a month after, right? Yeah, I know. You told me all about it. I, I just... Uh... It just came out, and I didn't think they... It wasn't even meant to be a big deal. Hey, Milo. Where's, uh... Where's Lola? Oh, she's getting her stuff out of the car, I think. Wasn't she supposed to go to some, uh... Some veterans hospital thing tonight, or something? She had to... To apply for it, I think. You couldn't just volunteer, because it gave school credit. It was like a job. Yeah, she got in, but I accidentally threw away her acceptance letter. Okay, now, there is more to Ew, this than... seriously? Okay, it's... I... I don't care if that actually happened. I mean, I do care, but... Ugh. I can see it's just Wormhorn trying to fuck with us, so... Oh, but God damn it, Milo, are you kidding me with I that? I know, I know, it's... I can't say I'm sorry enough, but... But I was feeling really fucking down, and you didn't seem to care, and I just wanted you around that Saturday. Hey, guys, don't tell anyone, but I think I'm gonna ditch Walnut at whatever the opposite of the Pearly Gates are. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, the guy just isn't gonna be able to pull his weight in the drinking contest, and I'm afraid he'll weigh me down. I am not thinking that... Oh. Man, that's rough, honey. Give me a break, Wormhorn. That is, that's complete bullshit and you know it. Yeah, like I would ever betray Milo like that. Yeah, I would never call you a fucking walnut to a group of people I actively and loudly despise, would I? Unless, of course, I just really don't like you much either. Just shut up, okay? Just, just shut the hell up, Milo. I... No, you, that was, that was mean what you did. Call me? my shit behind my back. Mean? You purposefully didn't tell me that I could get school credit one Saturday. You held me friend hostage. Maybe I did it because I was depressed, but no, you would never notice something oh, like Jimmy, that. Are you serious right now? I'm afraid he's quite serious, Lola. But before we get into your ultimate disillusion, let's see who won. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Won what? What what is this? The winner is Milo! <laughs> Yes, but Wormhorn, what does this mean? What does he win? 
Well, that's the 72 trillion cell question, isn't it, kids? That's the Toba catastrophe. I piss when I hear the sounds of lawnmowers question, isn't it? What? You won. Your point of view. You won your point of view. That's what you won. What? What the hell does that mean? Don't listen to it, Lola, okay? Just... Don't listen to it, Lola. That's it! That's what I'm talking about. You can say, don't listen to it. Whereas Lola can only do what God tells her to do. I don't understand. You have autonomy of purpose. I mean, it's obvious. You went after Eliza, Milo's suspect. Milo got Eliza's number, despite knowing it would piss off Lola. Milo talked to Satan, not Lola. You even took a dive with Roberto because Milo was afraid of angering Polly. You have autonomy of purpose. That's how humans see things, anyway. You're the only real one, and everyone else is just twitching, like a like a leaf stuck in a tree. That that's not that doesn't mean anything. That that is so stupid. I I just don't. Fuck. Why can't I say what I want to say right now? We're more than an idiot, Lola. Don't listen to this this, this thing we're getting out. All right. Remember that. <laughs> Fuck off. Getting out? You think that's ever gonna happen? <laughs> no one's out drank Satan like ever. What the fuck? You know what? Screw them. And screw you too, Milo. This is my last night free in undeath. And I'm gonna spend this shit alone. Away from you and all of this shit. Lola, wait, come on. I need you, man. Jesus fucking Christ, finally. Oh, finally! I have been trying so fucking hard to get under your guys' skin. This is just... Oh, it's a good... It's a good feeling, that's all. Oh, fuck you, Wormhorn. Why are you so damn mean all the time? Why... Why could you just get the shit out of our heads, okay? Because Satan came first, and then the rest of the angels, and then the demons, and then God planted you like seeds and said, you are his favorite, and you are. You're his favorite fucking show, and without me, it'd be a boring one. Sister Mary Warmhorn, you know I don't uh, recall inviting you to the jungle gym. S Satan, it, it's a great honor. I imagine it would be for a creature such as yourself. You know, my father prided me on my confidence. He used to say, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed, which means doubt is for lesser beings. Personal demons are lesser beings. They make us lesser, so they are lesser. And this, <laughs> this is the time for confidence, for faith in things unseen but felt. Uh, it's also I wish about I could keep up die. with the tweets because they've Mary. been kind of. Wait, demons can can die? Demons can't, uh, real demons anyway. But personal demons expire in the rays of a new day. Your traumas are your own. But how they express themselves gets refreshed every 24-hour cycle. Mm, think of it as trimming the flowers so new ones can grow. Okay, now everyone say, goodbye, Warmhorn. Goodbye, Warmhorn. I would spend your last hour wisely. Yes, hell Satan. <sighs> well, I'm certainly apologetic about that. I'm sure you're anxious to get started on the drinking challenge. I see your parchments all side. I must say I didn't think you would make it at first. Wait, uh, Mr. Mr. Lucifer, I, I really... I can't do this without Lola. Oh, I can understand that. Though I would uh, perhaps at least question a person's loyalty, you know. Someone who would leave you alone on the breach, but... I'd think about it. I wouldn't want to, uh, want to sway you. So... Let's just head up to the parlor and you can think it over. It was wonderful following you along on, on Bicker, watching you as you got those seals. It was very, um, you know, it was very, it was entertaining. It really was. I don't know what else to call it. I hope you didn't think it was busy work or anything. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I really do. Um, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. But this, uh, this will be fun, I think. I... I think you'll have fun. Oh, jeez. Oops. I don't want to offend him. I'm walking ahead of him. Christ. Can't, can't, can't PO the big man here. 
Wait, don't tell me we're out of gizzard, Jin. No, Trenaborg, I'm here with Milo. He's doing the challenge. He made it. Uh, really? Yes, really. Now then, Milo, where is your team? Uh, what team? What team? What team, he asks. The team. Your team for the drink off with me. You see, these are my friends. Hiya. And now you need to acquire yours. It's a team competition. As all good drinking. All right, well, are here's our first swerve. Morgan, six months sober. So you only need three, not including yourself. Which shouldn't be too hard, especially for an industrious man like yourself. Where the crap am I supposed to just find three friends? It's like I know anybody. Well, you know, I'm sorry. If you've spent the entire evening out in the throng and haven't a single number to show for it. I'm sorry if people have presented themselves vainglorious. I'm sorry that every friendship is built on biological impulse and a fear of being stabbed in the side. But that's the way it is. I'm just a custodian, after all. Come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting. <laughs> See ya. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, I was definitely expecting a swerve somewhere along here. And oop, there it is. So uh Yeah, this will be interesting. So, all right. So, uh, if if the folks watching, Vic, this is Tiki God. Uh, oh, pardon me, whomever. Uh, have any ideas as to how I should who and how I should recruit? I don't know. I'm half thinking. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm Apol Apollyon and Asmodeus would join us. Alion might. Sounds like she's not a big fan of Lou, but, uh... I'm half wondering if we could grab Sam. Let alone if we get, uh... reunited with Lola. Hey, idiot, your friend is here. Schoolyard strangler upstairs. I'll keep an eye on her while you get here. Thanks, Sam. Don't thank me yet. Hurry. Oh, well, crap. That doesn't sound good. Going back down. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the best possible scenario would be to uh maybe grab Sam if possible and uh Ola and the other demons or the other patriarch demons or whatever they were. Somebody called Sam. Them Barry? Oh, wait, that ain't Sam. Yeah, I'm uh, headed to the schoolyard strangler. Okay, taxi driver, not Sam. <laughs> Giriato, Giriato, no. No, shut up for a second. Let me finish the damn story. Okay, well, I didn't know your wife was in the room. Why do you have it on speakerphone if... Why would I tell you to put it on speakerphone? He hung up. <sighs> that guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Had to, uh, had to take a call. It's, uh, it's, it's okay. Back on Earth. I once had a driver blasting this stand-up comedy album that was all this, this really racist stuff. I say that just to, uh, just to say you're doing fine. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I was just talking to my buddy. 
hadn't seen him in a minute. And it's a, uh, it's not like it is on Earth. Oh hell no! So I don't want Wormhorn anywhere near me. Friends down here. Besides, uh, Wormhorn's only got about an hour left before she fizzles. There isn't that communal consciousness that binds everybody that lets something like Gone with the Wind still be the biggest box office hit when adjusted for inflation. Demons are self-involved. We don't know what it's like to live as another person like you guys. You're not born trapped in a psychological prison shaped by your by your ancestral code and self-rewarded biases like we are. We're not afraid of each other all the time. You don't hate without reason. I sometimes wonder what that's what that's like. Hey, I hate to break it to you, Malakota, but people don't have a, a collective brain trust or whatever. It's hard to know what anyone else even wants for breakfast, let alone their deepest fucking fears. Oh shit, really? Oh, you know what? I, I was thinking of angels. They're the ones uh, without a, without hate. Yeah. Shit, sorry, I forgot. You going to Satan's thing tonight? The, uh, the party? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't mean the party. <laughs> I mean, the thing. Um, what thing? You mean the, the drink competition? Yeah, I I mean the drink comp- uh, comp- what's that word? Competition? Competition, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're almost to, uh, almost to first in Izzard. Hey, uh, hey, did, uh, did okay. you say anything? That's, uh, that stand -up comic drive that's logic. No, I, this I, is Tiki God. That stuff. But my friend Loa was there. She yelled at him so much. She's the first writer in history to have a negative star rating. Hey, man, what are friends for? First in Izzard, here we are. A uh, place you uh, wanted to go, and now you're here. I'd be quick, though, if you're heading to the Strangler. Bars are all closing soon. Hell rise is coming. Work waits for no man, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Wanna hope like you, uh, so hope you have a good rest of your night. Oh, oh, I got a shit a fucking log cabin. Uh, that's an awesome image. Wahoo! Oh, I get the whole hurry part. It's almost morning. Which means our night's almost up, and that's bad. Oh, hey, who that asshole? Well, Wormhorn on the team actually might end up being a thing, who knows? Wormhorn's in the bar. You're talking crazy, kid. Players must announce bingo for themselves. No surrogates. Okay, but you can't, like, make an exception for the elderly? My friend here Sorry, got bingo two numbers ago, and he's clearly too enfeebled to call it out himself. Bingo? One of the oldest forms of gambling invented by Satan worshippers in the second century? Unless you live in a government that blocks certain facts from being disseminated, this shouldn't be news to you. Yeah, ah. MC Demon, just uh, ignore this drunk. He'll just get in the way of your personal and spiritual progress as a human being with needs. Lola, come on, can we... Can we talk? I'm s is that supposed to be some sort of joke about my mute friend here? What? Because he's elderly, he doesn't deserve respect? Let's just keep the game going, guys, okay? Take it outside. No, give us a second. There are things you just don't say, Milo. You don't just say them, not even in anger. I'm sorry I'm moving away, okay? I'm fucking sorry we died, and I'm sorry everything went to shit. But that's not, that's no excuse to never listen to me. That's, it's no excuse to, to take Wormhorn's side, of all things, it's no excuse to let me leave. Well, I'm sorry. Just don't interrupt, just let me finish. I need to start making new friends, okay? And I have got some. And my new friends, my new ah, bingo playing true. demon friends, they're- Wait, you think this guy's your friend? Charlie? He's just drunk. Uh, what do you mean? 
He's not drunk. He just can't talk. Right? Charlie... Oh, turn off the TV, Mommy. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> That's our Charlie. You know what? Fuck this, then. Jesus. Lola? Let her go, man. She just doesn't get bingo. It's about... Want to have a drink? Mm, not really. I don't remember that much about our friendship, Milo. About our history together. I, I remember certain things, but like, like after a dream, it's all. It feels like a different life. From what I can tell, I think we've been friends by circumstance, and not because we have a single damn thing in common. Oh come on, we have, we got stuff in common. Like what? Oh, roll. We make each other laugh, don't we? Shouldn't that be enough? I don't know, maybe. We're here because apparently we weren't great people, but I think maybe we're here because we weren't great at being people. And maybe that's the same thing, but we've, we've been cutting each other in half for our entire lives, and I just don't want to do that anymore. To you or to me. So, if we get back, I'm gonna try to you know, do something different in that world that makes me feel okay about just being me. As scary as that sounds. Hey, we can still be friends though, right? Yeah, we can still be friends. Milo, I know you're always being you with me. You never, you never try to be anything else you're not. I try to do the same for you and whatever else happens after tonight, if we get back, if we don't, let's, um, well, you know. Yeah, let's stick to it. Drink that son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sam's. Well, actually, I thought she I'm was. right here. How long were you standing there? I've been in the John for the last ten minutes, so one second. Why? You kids patch things up? Uh, sure. Sure sounds like a good enough for me. Let's ramble. And Wormhorn is not there anymore. So, it patched stuff up with Lola back on the team. Ah, uh, you know, Vic, I, uh, there are those questions that need to be answered as far as where they stand. So I'm okay with it every once in a while bouncing over to the Sirius, I guess. I, I, I'm i cool with it. I think it's kind of a balanced thing. So, I'm kind of hoping if we head to the taxi, it kind of kicks off a dialogue about what we should be doing next. Because uh, this looks like one person short of a team. That is, if Sam's got our back, so... At least Sam's hopping in the drive, so. All right. I, I understand, Vic. You know, let me say, I'm happy to see you two back together, really. The whole thing just felt off without it being the, the, the dual story, you know? Not that eh. I want to talk. It's always just been me up here. Thanks. You know, we're happy. Wait, 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 Cassius. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over my bear's big mouth. Hello? Awesome. 
I got this new tiny speaker for my phone. Fits right in my, um, whatever I call my ear hole. What were you saying? We were saying that all we need to do is get two more friends now for the drink off, and then that's, that's it. We are running the damn gauntlet and Count of Monte Cristoing the fuck out of here. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Yeah, don't worry. I'll make sure he never says Count of Monte Cristoing again. Okay, two favors. I gotta take care of something in Hans Bodikins. What? Why? Someone there did me a favor, and they, um, they need something done for them, and that's all I can really say. I know the hourglass is running out on you guys, but this thing's kind of time sensitive too. Hey, if we miss the window... Won't take a Jersey minute. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, we can stop by, yeah. Great, thanks. Won't take longer than it takes to, you know, do anything else. That seems, um, broad. Eh. Fair enough, Vic. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling this is going to get its darkest before the resolution. All right, thanks for, uh, thanks for doing this. I'll be quick, I promise. Uh, do you want to stay? Should we stay behind? No, 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 come on. We'll all saunter. Yeah, I'm not sure You're what this the little... College, right? Uh-huh. Liberal, state, military, nursing, technical, vocational... Oh, it was just a university. Did they teach you about the peace of Westphalia? Uh, I think so. It was the end of an 11,000-day war between inbred royalty and the ghosts of Martin Luther. But anyways, they made treaties establishing, basically, a new world order of independent nations. I remember Satan watching it like it was the Super Bowl. Only if his rival team won. <laughs> You've never seen a guy so pissed. The, uh, all the monarchs bet on it. Huh. Has, has Satan, um, ever directly, like, influenced historical events? I mean, other than the Cheeto's lip balm? He had to, to have had something to do no, with... No, it's, it's tough for him to ever make that big of a dent. It'd be like climbing to the top of the Empire State Building and shining a 40-watt flashlight, hoping someone in bed sty will see it. The logistics are too hard, and the weather's gotta be, like, perfect. Okay, we're almost there. It won't be more than a minute. You can hold me to that, really. Okay, here's where I'm meeting him. Let's, uh, let's grab a seat. Admire the scenery. Uh, who are we meeting exactly? I'd appreciate the spoiler so I know if we should just cut bait and leave. We are meeting some friends of mine. What friends? What's going on? Nothing is going on, Lola. We're just gonna... We are going to sit here in our non-doing of any evil and cleanse our minds while we wait for the moment to reveal itself. So, come on, take a seat. It'll be fast. What the hell? Okay... Ooh, the seat's a little wet. So, what should we uh, talk about while we wait? Any ideas? Bearing in brain, I don't have any board games. Okay, girl to girl, just what the hell have you been hiding? Having whisper sound and conversations about all night. And Polly, too, they're both up to something. Polly was strongly alluding to some scheme for Satan that was going around like it was fucking flu season. It's one of those things that are... It'll be interesting to experience, I think, and maybe, hopefully, helpful, but really just so boring to explain. It's like a Gus Van Sant movie. Who are we meeting? <laughs> really? You. I'm meeting you. What do you mean? Look, I've got a, uh, I've got a confession to make. It's, it's about a secret of mine. It's a secret that I keep very close to my chest, you know, something that's been buried for eons. Something that no living soul... Under, oh, hi, Angel. If you see your asshole brother Satan, tell him to stop tying his fucking trousers to my mailbox, all right? <sighs> Thanks, Tannen. It's, it's great seeing you. Shut the front door. You've been a damn monarch this entire time. I was born in a socket of time and light between strings and waves to the animal we call God. I mean, I, I don't even remember how the fight started, to be perfectly honest. I just... I remember that I didn't rebel with the rest of them. And I couldn't fight my brothers and sisters for the sight of sunshine either, so I, I just didn't take a stand. I was too scared, and I just wanted everyone to start eating dinner together again, you know? So when it came time to hand out the punishments, dear old dad didn't spare what he called my ambivalence. My uncertainty in his order. So I was cast out with the others. That was, um, well, it was a long time ago. Man, that is so unfair. Once, I didn't tell my sister Dinah, breaking my grandfather's remote control. Christ, when they found out, you would have thought I was harboring Nazis in the basement. The church sinking into the swamp? I built that first month, just after the fall. I, uh, I wanted a place where souls could still intone with God, if they wanted to. You know, whether or not he was even listening. 
but Satan didn't really, uh, he breathed it as an insult. So three days in, he tore it down and uh, conscripted me into being a psychopomp. I think for him it was um, romantic or metrical or something. The image of me driving back and forth, to and fro, never docking, never settling in one spot, never choosing a home. But uh, that's just my theory. What keeps you from doing something else? How can he force you into being a, a hellcat? It's, it's fine. I think it, uh, I think it's what I was meant to be doing all along, anyway. I wasn't a good angel, and I wasn't a particularly great demon, either. But I'm, uh, I'm passing at this, I think. So, why are you telling us this? Actually, what did you mean by helping us out? I know you're coming up to your danger zone, time-wise. I can wrap it up while we walk. Look, I'm extraordinarily difficult to impress. I think that things that wear clothes have completely misread the universe and what should be carried as important, myself included in that. But you've done things I wouldn't have expected anyone to do down here. So, I got a little something for you. A going away present, if you want to label it. Don't think it's like a catapult to Earth or anything, but uh, it's like a token of my appreciation for what you've accomplished. Oh, Sam, you didn't have to do that. Actually, you literally could have done absolutely nothing and we wouldn't have known the difference. I should give it to you in private, though, by the cab. Away from the, uh, the, the route. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. So, Milo and Lola, I do bequeath you my seal of approval. Cool. <laughs> I know you cats already have all the seals you need, but, um, just think of it like a good luck charm. And this way, Luke can't fuck with you and say he swears up and down on a pyramid of baby heads that he said three seals and not two. I've played softball with that guy too much to know he cheats like a mother ever. Wow, Sam, this, this means a lot. <laughs> it does. I, I don't, I don't know what to say, really. You don't have to say anything. We're, uh, we're friends, so, you know, no biggie. All right, enough sappy bullshit. Let's hit the road, get you kids back home. Um... That still, uh, leaves us a couple team members short, so I'm not sure what, uh... Not sure what goes down with that. We... we got to know a lot of people tonight. It was quite the mix of uh, intrapersonal developments and, uh, and, uh, interpersonal problem solving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who should we ask to do this? We only get two. We only need to, so give me the list. Uh, who's, who would say yes? Uh, I would say yes. My shift ended like five hours ago. I've just been doing this for fun. Sam, that's that's awesome. Seriously, I mean, uh, I... I've only... We've only just met you, but I'm sure I can speak for Lola when... You can stop talking now. Okay. What about Polly? Uh Yeah, she's she'd be good. I'll text her. Maybe, but no promises. Awesome. We got our group, our our team. We're I feel good. She feel good. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean I don't I don't know about everybody else in here, but I for one feel pretty darn good about this. Cool. I don't know. I, I figured that was like a hard baby from Polly and they're counting on her. Uh, I don't know how much I like that. Eh. You're right, Vic. Maybe I'm more worried about it than I should be. And hey, isn't that Polly anyway? So, uh... And yeah, Vic, I didn't really put it together that there would be a need for the third seal with the third space, but... You are right, that makes all the sense. And bustle and head straight to Lucifer's. 
Satan's blues. Alrighty. Don't don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You're doing so well. So the next question is, do, uh... Well, and Vic, I think that's what I was scared of, is that it wouldn't cycle. Well, maybe, it probably would've. I... Uh, I don't know. It was, uh... It was a hip shot, reflex, quick thing, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing too, Mrs. Tiki God. Like, are these monarchs gonna help us, or are they just gonna party? Looks kind of fall dead. in with this uh. Always goes way too long. It used to be part of their charm. Sure, it used to be part of their charm, but we're not staying any longer than absolutely necessary. So once we go in, that's it. We're not leaving until we're done. And once we're done, we're done. Oh, let's just get on with it. I have met every dumbass I want to tonight. Let's just go. Makes, uh, makes sense. A little bit of weird slowdown, uh, but... Satan? Are you... Where? No, I know we like to say they're like ants or uh, voles, but they get from someone who saw them okay. come out of the queue. Well, there People he is. Let's go get him. Parents, particularly in their, uh, how to put this, uh, their capability of feeling loneliness and the cannonball shot desperation to avoid it. The organically encoded forbearance of it. It can literally kill them. You know that, right? I've heard. Consider in their youth, it's, this is my favorite manifestation of it. They will spiritually graft themselves onto a cultural event or figurehead, be it a, a singer, a band, film, game, concert, ah, car, right you are, watching Vic. machine, and they feel emboldened by advertisements to promote it. They feel a part uh, of something. Satan? <sighs> oh, 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 it's you, uh, mm. Milo? Ah, uh, Milo, yes, that's... That's your moniker. Thank you. Uh, the party's mostly uh, winding down, but I think there's some booze spilled in various ashtrays throughout. If you're so inclined, no judgment. Look, we got the team, okay? You said it was a team sport, so we, we got one. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I think you're mistaken. Mistaken about what? I said you had to get friends. You need friends to have a drinking contest, a true drinking contest. I, I thought that's what you wanted to do, correct? We have. We brought our friends. No, those aren't your friends. A worn-out cab driver and Polly, the fucking demon lawyer. These aren't your friends, okay? Do you really think they'll be there for you when the chips are down? Yes, they are. We're, we're all good. The fact of the matter, kids. There's no such thing as friends. In hell or anywhere else. Four years. What, uh, what took you so long? I was waiting for Polly to text me, but uh, my battery's about to... Hey, do you have a charger for the G6? Polly. Oh, what a surprise. I take it by your tone? You don't actually consider this a surprise? No. I've known for some time that you and a town's worth of extras were planning something. So what is this? Sula deposing Marius? The Pisonian conspiracy? Hm. Treachery is a sin, dear sister. Maybe the greatest of sins. But hey, you want to run hell in the shadow of Beelzebub? Fine. My guy. Uh, like I give a shit. Roberto? I am here, yes. Roberto, what the hell is going on? What? Okay, yeah. I knew this little stereotype was someone important to you. What is this? The plot of prophecy? Is... Are you like the best thumb wrestler in the universe? Well, okay, fine. Get it over with, little man. Take your best shot. How should we start? Uh, Miss Apollyon, I can begin. We should all begin by telling Lucifer here how much he is loved and appreciated and cared for. Oh, totally you totally love you, guy. 
Uh, There's some kind of we love you, intervention. Sweetie. What the fuck are you? Now, Miss Polly, why don't you speak first? We're supposed to, um, we're supposed to go over our memories. Say what we remember. Tell us how you've made us all feel. Not to be judgmental, not be confrontational. And it's hard. This is hard, standing here. Um, harder than I thought it would be. Pop. You know what I remember? I remember playing tag with you across the Hadean. I remember unicellular life popping like popcorn. You and I watching it, hiding from Michael and Zircon crystals. Uh, uh Polyon? This is your fucking intervention, Morningstar, and you're gonna listen to every single thing we <laughs> <you> have to <laughs> say. Wait, 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 what? This is an intervention? You're, you're, you're pulling my leg. Oh, but shit, does this, should we, like, should we not be here for this? Are you kidding me? Luke is fine. We party, so what? Morningstar, hell can be, it can be a place for reflection, for rehabilitation, for, for skepticism, for study. But you've turned your back on everyone and everything. It's, it's not fair to, to Beelzebub. No. Or, or Sam. Hiya. Or me. We're your brothers and sisters, Luke. We care Milo, about you. Lola, I think we have a drinking contest to start. Lucifer, this is, this is serious. Oh, is it? Um, really? Cause I, I have to say, maybe this doesn't seem, uh, appropriate anymore. You wanna know who Roberto is, Lucifer? He's the leading interventionist expert, and we thought... Ah! <laughs> okay, kids, here's how we do this. Morning it's star. a drinking game with two rounds. Round one is beer pong, your team against mine. Lucifer, stop acting like a child. Hey, beer pong! <laughs> uh, should we should we really be doing this right now? No, we shouldn't. And yet we are. So get ready for beer pong, everyone. Beirut, the sport of philosophers and kings. Follow me, all right? And quickly, lest we continue getting interrupted. Come on, Luke. <sighs> Morning Star, you know how many people have come up to me to say that they're worried about you? It's been a lot, a, a big number, and look, I even had my doubts this would work, okay? We haven't exactly been celebrating Christmases together, you know, but... He's not listening to you, lady. Understand that? Can you understand that this is about Milo and Lola? So, shut up. Well, somebody here got out of the wrong side of the, the, uh, what's the saying? Fridge? Is a refrigerator involved? It's a refrigerator, yeah. Do you remember March of last year? I had a 10 million year birthday party, and you ended up so drunk you burned down half of Gruntilda Lane? He doesn't remember because he was drunk, lady. And he's not listening to you, understand? I have more and better memories from when we were 10 seconds old than of any time after, because any time after would have to include your goddamn vanity. Oh, I didn't realize your dad was invited. Yeah, I'm talking like dad, because dad is a giant fucking asshole, but he's also usually right. Luke? Morning stars doing just fine, all right? So everybody calm the hell down. Right, Luke? Right. Okay, here's how we do this. Morning Star, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you hear what we're trying to say to you? That you have a problem, that, that, that hell is crumbling because of it. Two teams. Two teams, yours and mine. We play. We're teams to keep take talking, turns. No cheating, listen. no cuts. Winner takes all. Just like love and war. Easy enough? Father Chocoblock, pick a drink. I opened up the house barrel, so the selection is wide and varied. Hey, good to see you again. Want something else? Uh, all the things. Okay. So, beer pong. Ah, pick. Good catch, yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, too. So, beer pong, competition, definitely leaning towards... I don't know. Right here. Alright, bang bang, the hard stuff may include monkey droppings in it to win it. Which, I don't know, sounds competitive and maybe helpful for beer pong. I... Global extinction, raging cycle, one ounce lemon, cursed brandy... Crushed teeth lit by a supernova. Great fall, evil genius, one hateful mammalian brain served in canary wine, vermouth, and spit. 
Blue Devil is rich asshole. Potato vodka, cigarette butts, William injured children, melted. Katana Nanus. Grand Exhibitionist, the Witty Pavilion. Oh, are all the drinks available here? Oh, they look like they are. Shit. Uh. Lovable Lush, Jeffrey Bomber. Jeffrey Bomber. Balding Black Turpentine Brewed Tea Whiskey Garnished with Fragrant Durian. Oh, God. And this is Tiki God. I don't, I don't know if this like helps determine what kind of cups are set out, but and Lucifer made it sound like it was going to be a straight up contest, but then again, that's Lucifer talking, so who knows? Tommy Gun. Yeah, some of these I didn't see while we played, so. Prison Bully. Ethanol colored solvents with a touch of sugar, slightly more enjoyable than death. I'm very much leaning towards the first one, just because of the whole in it to win it in the description. I don't know, seems appropriate. Otherwise, otherwise maybe Great Fall, because that one's classified as evil genius, so that might be helpful against uh, Sympathy of Evil. Uh, you, so Vic, you're thinking it's supposed to make me think that? Like it's just a come on? Okay, fair enough. Yeah! Hello, Sphere Cube! Good to see ya. Oh, shoot. So yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards the Great Fall. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take a Great Fall. Good pick. It's sort of my specialty. Okay. Go up to your side when ready. Uh, should I drink first before Pong? But of course, bottoms up, y'all. Come on, Lola, you can do it. Oh, that's all the aim it gives me? Oh, shoot. Okay. Right? I'm not playing this stupid fucking game. I guess if you really don't want to, or 
think it'll hurt Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. Hey, great. <laughs> great job. Come on, buddy. You can make it. Oh, shoot. You fucking asshole. Open your eyes. Oh, I'm trying. Relax, guys. It's only a game. You know, kids, I'd, uh, I'd play for your honor and everything, but Luke is my brother. And I feel like I should set a proper example, as well as I can, anyway. Okay, fine. Do, do what you think is right. Dear Lucifer, humans really aren't worth the bones they're printed on. Oh, like you're doing much better. Can you just stop yelling at each other, please? Come on, Lola, you can do it. Oh, shit. Oh, so this is what happens with a little woobly? That's not cool. At least I got my easy peasy out of the way, I guess. I mean, I should get these in. I'm not throwing the ball. You can forget it. I guess if you really don't want to, or think it'll hurt Lucifer... <laughs> yeah, Vic, that's true. Yeah, this may not go so well. Nice one, you goddamn waste of celestial space. Open your eyes! Shut up, Chernabog. You'll get it next time. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Shit. Ah. Are you serious? How can you be this bad? How can you be that... be that ugly, huh? Ever ponder that one? Cernabog? Yeah, just skip my turn, okay? I don't, I don't really feel good about playing beer pong against my alcoholic brother. Okay, fine. Do... Do what you think is right. Ugh! I can't believe we wasted a spot on this chode! Hey, that I'm, chode! I'm trying, okay? Vitala, stop it. It's supposed to be fun. Come on, Lola, you can do it. Oh, hey! We got the toughie. We got the one in the back. Oh, shoot. Big Luke is up. Ooh, oh, yeah. Almost didn't make it. God, I love this game. Christ, get him up. I'm fucking fine, okay? Jesus, Joseph, it's a fucking party. Relax. We're all just having a good time, okay? This isn't a good time. Uh, yeesh. I'm calling it, okay? This is a straight edge party now. You're all teetotalers. This isn't your party to control, Polly. You don't even know where you are right now, Morningstar. I certainly hope you're joking, Apollyon. It's a bit of a character flaw of mine. I can't accept disrespect. Not in my own house. I follow our father in that regard. Am I kidding with you? No. Take a step back. Now. Okay, everybody. Let's just, let's take it easy. Morningstar, just stop. They're gonna, they're gonna make it. They're gonna do what I, what I never could. Get out from under the cosmic plan someone else made for you. Maybe they just don't want to see you completely throw your life away, Luke. Maybe Milo and Lola know better than to encourage your behavior right now. Because it's obvious to everyone but you that you are in serious trouble. Actually, Polly, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt, but we just lost. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we want to win. Oh my god, are you kidding me with this right now? All right, shit. On to round two. Round two. 
Good old-fashioned drink-off. Brother. Morningstar, that's it. We're, we're, we're done. You're gonna sit down and listen to us and, and, and hear us. Hear you? You want me to hear you, is that what you said? To be weak is to be miserable. To do aught good never be our task, but ever do ill our sole delight. And now, you want me to sit down and listen to all the ways I've disappointed you. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Hell is without its leader, Lucifer. There are souls I hear that, out there that cube. need your wisdom, clear-minded wisdom. Shit, there are souls in here that need it. Your family needs it. Your family wants you back. There's nothing to come back to. Uh, maybe, maybe we should just go. Yeah, this, uh, seems, I don't know, a little, <laughs> a little personal. The drink-off is happening with my real friends, okay? Right, Chernobog? Uh... Right, Chernobog? Polly, I mean, she's like, she's like my Aunt Luke, and... Oh, fucking hell, are you... Just cause she babysat you when you were shot out of Tartarus? Morning, Star. We are finishing the challenge. Milo, Lola, which one is taking point? This really isn't necessary, Luke. Shut up, Bezo. Uh, Lola, do you wanna do it? Uh, sure. Satan, just, just can't you fuck? Beelzebub, can you just yes, like- Yes, Luke, this has really gone far enough. The games are over. You need help, and we're here to help you. Milo, let's- No, Milo, Lola, go home. You've done enough. Those are my guests, Bezel. You don't have the capacity to make decisions right now. You cannot run away from this anymore, Luke! Morningstar, come on, sit down before you have another fall. <sighs> you guys are being so fucking lame right now. And you know what? I don't think I want to look at you anymore. Luke! Uh, okay, it looks like the drinking's happening regardless. What assholes, am I right? Oh, don't worry, they can't... <laughs> Follow us here to the abyss, the unworld, nature's womb, between heaven and hell and your material, uh, material plane. Unless God wants to fart some more unicorns into existence, then it's his damn workshop. Why, why'd you bring us? Wouldn't you rather be, like, alone right now? No, no. I'm, uh, we should finish the game, definitely. Let me know when you're ready. Oh. Oh, wow. This is, uh... This is a thing. So it's come down to this moment. You've come quite a long way. Helping fellow with the interloper. Polly's ridiculous trial. Asmodeus and the dance competition. You've really bloomed at the people I would be honored to let return to their world and to their future. So, are you ready? You've certainly had enough practice. Oh, I feel like an ass, but I want to get these guys home. He's a, he's fading, a little. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. Oh, Dude, it's uh, better again. Let's go, Lola. He's just a giant angel of evil and shit talking. You can outdrink this asshole. Ignore how big he is and drink. Keep going, don't give up. Oh shit! Ah, I missed again. Keep going, don't give up. Get I lost. Uh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, that's a. Uh... Uh, this is too bad. I'll be honest, I didn't expect this. I thought you two were, uh, I mean, you, you did the whole monarch thing, you got the invite to come all this way, and had not get it done is... It's annoying, to say the least. Lucifer, come on, you, you only drank Lola under uh... the table. Let's let me have a try. Fine. 
to satisfy your curiosity. And I got nothing better to do. Come on, Milo, you got this. Keep it up. You're doing it. Don't, don't look at the stack. Don't get nervous. You're almost there. Let's go, Milo. Let's go, Milo. You're doing it. Don't, don't look at the stack. Don't get nervous. You're almost there. You, you did it. I, I gave you my best shot, but you really, you, you pulled through. I'm proud of you, kids. You get to go home. Holy shit, we won. Oh my god, this is incredible. We're, wait, we're actually, wait, you're gonna let us go home? Of course, of, of course. No, he's, he's like 16 feet tall. It's Satan, you know? Wait, never mind the... You piece of shit. You know how scared we all were? You can't, you can't just leave and not... Yeah, 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 okay, okay, whatever. Milo and Lola won the contest. Milo and Lola? Who gives a fuck? I would think they do. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to fucking say anymore, Satan. I, I really, really don't. Congrats, kids. Thanks for, for enabling the leader of the damn world into being a complete raging alcoholic who's drunkenly shat himself more than he's had hot meals. Polly, we, we needed to get out, okay? We don't, we don't deserve to be here. Maybe you deserve it more than you realize. And for winning. Let's just go. Wait, wait. For winning, everyone in their party gets to go to Earth as well. Wait, seriously? Yeah! Screw this. And screw you, Polly. Like Milo and Lola ever needed your friendship. Milo and Lola and I are the real winners. And every... everybody wins everything, all the... Who wants waffles? Right? Right, when I said it, I was like, I'm actually hungrier than I thought. What in the world? Oh, God. Oh, can you believe that episode last night? No, why would Donna pick Brad of all? He's not even taller than her. <laughs> I love that I sucked you into it. It's so bad. Whatever, are you on your lunch break? I can never remember the time change. Or just, you just subtract three. Odd uh, numbers are hard for me. I can't wait to see you. My flight's at six, then we can hit all the old haunts. How are things going though? Uh, the magic shop's going well. I'm having fun at least. My talking on the phone phobia got knocked out within two weeks. I just have to do it, so. Immersion therapy or whatever. So, that's, that's cool. I miss seeing you. It was hard enough seeing you move, but it's doubly weird not seeing you every day. No, I know, it's crazy. Our back booth at Orion is really, they should put up a little sign. They should, like Frank Sinatra sat here. Yeah. The, uh, the job is good. Yeah, I mean, it's everybody warned me about nonprofits, the high turnover, the workload, but it's, it's, it's going well. But, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. Okay, come on, be honest. How much are you really liking it? A lot, okay? It's been good. I don't regret moving at all, really. You know, I've been thinking about our, uh, our vacation recently, about all the people we met, and I don't know, do, do, do you miss it at all? I mean, I guess a little. I was just thinking that, like, I mean, I'm obviously gonna try to be a good person, but we might end up back there. Why do you think so? Because it's hard. You know, it's tough with what's right in this world. And you know, maybe I don't agree with what's considered wrong. We made friends, right? Kind of good friends. And maybe it wouldn't be so bad to be stuck with the people you like and who like you for eternity. I don't know. Well, keep the positive outlook because we're definitely going to hell when we die. Why? I don't think the gatekeepers look too kindly on bringing demons and dead people to life. Is that Milo? Milo, can you believe she picked Brad? So, see you Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Wow! <laughs> oh, shit, kids!
That was, uh... That was a thing! I'm, uh... I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna let these, uh, credits roll if there's any goofy stuff, uh, squished in here. But, uh... So, since this took a wrap so early, when the, uh... Credits are done, I'm probably gonna take five. And then I'll be back with, I think... I think I'm gonna start up, uh... Extremely reliable delivery service, uh, which play that for a little bit, get a first take on it, and uh, see what we think. It's uh, it looks ridiculous. It's a timed thing, running packages, and it looks like it has stupid ragdoll physics, and it could be pretty humorous, so we'll uh, fire it up and get our first take on it after I take a break, so uh, and yeah, Vic agreed, uh, I think there was enough, uh, I think there was enough uh, different decisions there that there's probably a, a ton of branches. I, uh, I definitely might, well, I definitely might, yeah, that's, a uh, specific. So, I'm definitely gonna think about taking a replay of it on my own time. Or, loop around some. Uh, Mrs. Tiki God, reliable deliveries, or extremely reliable delivery service is not from, uh, Studio. The other game that I was speaking of playing is Oxen Free, and that is the same studio, Night School. So, Oxen Free is more than likely what we'll be playing Tuesday night. Oh, and exactly, Mrs. Tiki God, you know, usually the story on something like this is, you know, I don't know, five to maybe ten hours for something really involved, but there'll be enough different decisions and different ways to try it and branches that you'll definitely want to uh, try to give it another go. And, uh... Yeah, once this wraps, I think I am actually gonna stop stream for roughly five minutes ish. Uh, bathroom break and a smoke. I'll be honest. Oh shoot. Okay, that's that's about that. So uh, yeah, well uh, I'm gonna stop stream just to make it uh easier to clip highlights from both these games after the fact. So, uh, thanks so much for everyone who has stopped by so far. I appreciate it a bunch. Uh, we will be back in roughly five to seven minutes and, uh, with totally reliable delivery service. So, hope you guys stick around. Uh, Throw your notifications on if you want to see when I get back. So for right now, old school, old fool, signing off, 
see you back around 20 after 3 central.